Arsenal 2, Luton 0. Kenny Ken's at the game. Make sure you follow Kenny Ken 1972 on Instagram. Um, wasn't the prettiest of games to watch, but it wasn't the deadest either. Obviously, uh, after the game at the Etihad at the weekend, uh, we wanted to be entertained. We see a starting mm. 11 that was a mix and match. Um, Smith Rowe got man of the match. I thought he was outstanding in that first half, along with Odegaard. Um, Trossard, I thought, played well. Um, some very, very good performers out there today. Mm. Second half, um, I don't think it was great. But it was professional. It's what you got to do. Just see the game out defensively. We are so good, though, Kenny. And um, you know what? Honestly, it's... the substitutions today, despite you know the squad and all of that being mix and match, no Saka, the subs. It was just whatever. And this is so, what we've got to do. You, you know. You know what? You you took the words right out of my, right my mouth. If you want to make, you want to disrupt the team in terms of like making those wholesale changes in midfield, um, up front, up to a point. Never ever get disrupt Saliba, Gabriel, and Raya. Because I'll tell you one thing, the solidity of all three of them, don't get me wrong, it was a scratchy performance. You know, it's and there's there's no reason why you know we should be surprised because at the end of the day, you know, you've made about five five changes, you know, players are not used to playing with each other. So Chenko Sichenko's trying to get into place again because he's now won't be displaced by um Kivior, rightly so. And you've got a situation with Thomas Pye, you know, Declan Rice is in such imperious form that we don't really need to rely on Partey. And then you've got a situation where, you know, Smith Rowe needs to make an impression. And I think he took his chance. I agree with you. He, he, first half, I thought he was really um, working his nuts off from a pressing point of view. And he got into good goal scoring areas. Reese Nelson, you know, he, he put um, the Luton defenders under pressure in order to get there, uh, in order for us to force it through the own goal. But, a lot of the players, they did, this, they did themselves some justice. But, you know, when it comes to teams like Brighton, who are a better team than Luton, you know, and more kind of um, streetwise than them, you know, you don't want to make too many changes. If, and you, if, if not, you, you really want to avoid changes. Because, I, I think know, we'll go back to our normal team. I think this was the perfect game. Yeah. Knowing that, like you said in the preview yesterday on the podcast, they're very naive. Very yeah. naive, this team. They've conceded what, 64 goals now in 31 mm. games. Yeah. You'll always get a chance to score. They're limp up front. Yeah, and Very, not, very limp up front. Yeah, very limp up front. That, when we've got players like Martinelli on the bench, Jesus, who never got a game, I thought that was very telling, by the way. Um, and then you've got um, Trossard, I thought, I thought, played very well tonight. Not only offensively, he not made three different players tonight, but defensively, yeah. him and Gabriel, yeah, Ooh. saves Zinchenko a couple of times tonight. Well, but that's yeah, definitely... I kind of get it. He's not been in the team for a while. Ben White, I thought, was good. But yeah, that ben, was the perfect game for us to chop and change. We're at home. Yeah. You're not getting shot against us. And if you do, it was P-rollers. Yeah, yeah. I, think, I think what's happened is that I understand you're 100% right. It is the perfect game. And it's it's probably disrespectful for Luton. And, you know, because the fact is, is that they are, they are say, a sure thing. You know, they had players out as well. But the fact is, is that you know, if you wanted like attractive free throwing football, you weren't going to see it. But the fact is, is the, the object, you know, you know, at this stage of the season is to win, win at all costs. You know, mm-hmm. they, we're not going to play, um, you know, the attractive football that we played in February and uh, early and early March, where we um, beat teams five nil, six nil, twice. You know, I'm not saying those days are over, but when you get into the nitty gritty, where at the moment, we know for a fact that we've got 11 games left. Of course, if we get to the um, semi-finals and final, add on three games, so that could be 14 games. Well, actually, 14 games minus one, so it's 13 games. So, we, you know, we're, we're down to eight league games. Yeah. So, it's one of those things where training, um, training is basically an afterthought, where you just want to give players rest. And obviously, you want to rotate. And it is heartening to see that Smith Rowe, you know, took his chance today. Reese Nelson... Yeah, showed a burst of pace, worked a bit hard. Because if we are going to go down that road where Saka keeps on breaking down, then, you know, obviously you need to look look at alternatives. Again, Martinelli as well, you know, played him out of the right. You know, he's he's had injury, he's had wear and tear as well. So it is, it is a situation where you've got to have a look at them. Of course you worry because of the fact that, you know, the first 11 is such a well-ordered machine that yeah. you don't want any kind of disruptions. And obviously, you look at um, 
the experienced managers like Klopp and um, Guardiola, where if you disrupt that team with uh, wholesale changes, it won't make that much of a difference because of the experience um, of, the, of the managers. And, you know, you, you get the impression that, you know, the younger, younger players um, of both sides are also substitutes. They're used to the, the rhythm of the game. That's one thing the game didn't have was rhythm. When you watch, um, you know, our, our rivals, Man City and, and Liverpool, Man City, you know, dropped um, De Bruyne and they dropped um, Harlem. Now, I didn't watch the game. I didn't watch the game, but... Oh, Odin's hat trick was a joke, by the way. <laughs> yeah, so obviously that's, a, that's something I'm going to view, but this is something that we, over the course of um, the next couple of years, we're going to have a, have a situation where our substitutes, whoever they are, are going to have to um, get into the rhythm of, of, of football but, matches but, and and push the first team a bit more. Now, that also the, comes with experience and, and Oh, yeah, winning. experience. Because if yeah, you've got definitely. the winning mentality, you've got the system in place where... Remember when we uh, back in the day with Wenger, when we yeah. used to put our reserves out in the League Cup, it was the same performance because everyone was in tune in the youth yeah, set up. Yeah, 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 definitely, definitely. No, I, City are way I, clear of us on that. Yeah, and I think, I think Liverpool, Liverpool are kind of ahead of us. But this, the whole situation is, is that the onus was to win the game. And we did win yeah. the game. The onus was, don't disrupt what we, what we do really well, which is defend. You know what? I haven't seen it for a long time. Because, you know, when you look at our defence, sometimes I have to pinch myself when I see Saliba. <laughs> Saliba and, um, you know, and, and Gabriel. Gabriel Gil- tonight, yeah. The way they block fun. shots. They don't let the crosses come in. The crosses come in, they attack it and clear it. There was one time when Luton had a, a corner routine. Very good delivery. Gabriel, all he does is flick it away out of danger. It's, yeah. It was it was immense. It was immense because Ben you know, White as well. Ben White was yeah, flicking but, up and throwing. Yeah, definitely, stuff like definitely. And, and then because you you think about it, when we look at the Emirates years, we look at players like um, Kishelny. It was okay, but he weren't great. Mustafi, Socrates, you know players like that. That's that's three players. That Gabriel Palista. Gabriel Palista. You know um, <laughs> Mavra Panos. All those kind of players. And you think, for the love of God, what would we be doing for about for 18 years? What were we doing? You know, we were completely su- committing suicide. Now, if we had that kind of mentality that we have now, who knows? We might have challenged a bit more. But again, we, we didn't have the right manager. But you can't, you can't, you know, cry over spilt milk. You can't look at the past. We've got to look to the future. And the future at the moment is, the immediate future is that we're in contention winning two trophies. I still maintain that the league is more um, doable than the Champions League because the fact is that now in the in business end of the Champions League, I look at our defence and I say, this is fantastic. But I look at the opposition of, and, and that goes to all the, all the other participants, regardless of whether they're in our side of the draw or they're in the other side of the draw. The fact is, is that good, you can't, it's very difficult to keep good players quiet over 180 minutes. And I think we're going to get to that situation maybe in a year or two. But this season, I do think that if we are going to win something, it has to be the league. We have to be ready to pounce if Liverpool um, drop points. And mm. because the end of the day, you know, at the moment, they're, they're controlling the wheel. They've got a difficult game in Max Man United. But you have to assume, i.e. Arsenal, that when we go to the, um, the Amex Stadium, We've got to win because we have to assume that Liverpool are going to beat Man United. That has to be our mindset. Our mindset is don't drop any points. All right. <laughs> don't drop any points um, at all because if you drop points, you, you could you know, fall behind in the race and it, it becomes um, difficult and you do need and to change the sneakers. It's, it's a psychological one as well. We've, but we've gone top tonight. Man City yeah. have won 4-1 against Villa. So mm. even, though, even though they're not above Liverpool, their level... So now the mm. pressure's on Liverpool. Yes, they're at Anfield. Yes, they're playing the team bottom. They should win that. But then, guess what? Man City play early. Yeah, then yeah. we play next. And then the next day, yeah. Liverpool play Man United. Guess what? The pressure's on if we both win well, again. And that's the thing. That, again, you look at Liverpool, you, you, you may look at, the, um, at their um, makeup of their team and think, you know what? They concede a lot of chances. Is this sustainable? But they create a lot of chances, so it yeah. becomes sustainable. But one thing you can't substitute, um, you know, any alleged deficiencies of, of uh, Man City and Liverpool. You, you can, you can't substitute the fact that 
they do have experience at this level. They do have experiences. They're gonna. One thing is they're calm, and the thing is their fans are calm as well because they've been there and done it. You know, Liverpool have been in this situation for the third time in in about five years. Man City are in this situation every season. So, although we're in this in this situation last season, this is our, probably our second time because I at, when I look at this season, I think that. This is probably a genuine title um, challenge because yeah. obviously the quality of both yeah, teams this, and this, this, we're playing better football. Yeah, even though we were we were flying last season, yeah, mm. it was like we we were so emotional on the pitch. Oh, definitely, so definitely. Right now, we're nowhere near emotional. Now. We're, we're, yeah, we're we very naive. Nice. Like some stupid naive moments tonight. Yeah, mm. we're like mi- uh, miscommunications here and there. But that's, listen, when you change five players, you're going to get that. I oh, think definitely. the weekend. We're going to go to Brighton. You're definitely mm. getting chances against Brighton. But they're also going to maybe have chances as well because of the way they play. And oh, it has absolutely. To be, I don't care a stinky 1-0, Kenny. Win the game. Well, look, look, it's gonna be, it's, look, it's going to be a very, very hard game. They're going to have moments where they are. They're not going to you know, change the way they play because of us. They're going to play at the back. They're going to you know, pass their way out of um, you know, condensed areas, try and pass their way out of um, you know, like out of danger. And they're going to try and, um, you know, hit, hit their players as quickly as possible. Obviously, from a negative point of view for Brighton, they've sold what I consider most of their um, fame silver, family silver. And obviously, they, you know, they don't have uh, Matoma. And obviously, they're, going to, they're missing their, their top goal scorer, at Yale Pedro. So, they have massive, massive losses. So, in terms of, like, you know... Um, Players who can, you know, add that bit of Genesis you know, or put the chances away, you know, that's probably where they're going to be lacking. You know, Ferguson's not ready for a full season. He's still very, very young. You know, I don't know who he'll start. I'm sure that, you know, on um, Saturday, they're going to start a Dringer and Danny, and Danny Welbeck for their pace. And all of those kind of pushes back. So, obviously, they're going to be very, very direct, you know, trying to, um, you know, hit us with, you know, three passes. So, again, that's another test for our defence. But I'm mightily confident we'll be able to pass that test because at the end of the day, as I said uh, earlier in the communication, whatever you do, make changes if you want, but never, ever change the defence. Sounds a bit like Pat Rice when Wenger got there. When his advice is, make changes, but leave the defence alone. And that's what we need to do. The theme for this season, and maybe for a few seasons more, at no time should you disrupt Saliba and, and Gabriel. Um, Gabriel and Raya. Raya. Yeah. Fact. Friends of Aaron in the bin. Kenny Love always. Get home yeah. safely, mate. Yeah. Kenny Ken 1972 yeah. on Insta. And um, love you, man. Always love, love you. Bro. So I'll speak to you soon. Care, All right.